Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sinet Television. Now from time to time we get Chris to do something a little unusual, a little different, and this is uh, one of those times. I'm going to have Chris show you a variety of different Whelan beacons and give you a little tutorial about those particular products. So right now, from me to Chris, we shall go. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. Beacon, beacon. Can you tell the difference between the beacon? Three from the family at Whelan Engineering, 2022 series strobe beacon, L10 LED, L21 LED. Gonna show you a bit between the three, what makes them all different from each other, what keeps them the same with each other. So if it's important to you for keeping with current technology, taking strobe products, moving into the LED field and keeping your vehicles uniform, this will be a wonderful way for you to take a first hand look, old technology, new technology, and which one is going to be right for you. Whelan has done a wonderful job in keeping the 2022 with the same look and feel as their L10 series and L21 series beacons. Like I just said, it's really hard to tell the three apart when they're just sitting here in front of you. Same footprint, same heights, these are the high profile of the dome. You can also get a lower profile. So depending on the height that you need to meet, go ahead, select which one's needed for you. Both can be flat mounted. Well, all three can be flat mounted or standard pipe mounting. So the wonderfulness of wheel and engineering is that they haven't taken and modified anything from the original 2022 and the way that it could be multi-purpose mounted. Again, flat mount or on the bottom, one inch standard pipe threading. And because the base assembly has stayed the same, same thing in the L10, same thing in the L21. What's gonna make the beacons unique from each other, and I'll go ahead, get all the domes off so you can take a first-hand look. 2022 strobe-based technology. White strobe tube, top mounted on a control board and capacitor assembly. Something to keep in mind when it comes to the strobes is that after the unit has been on and working, the base is gonna hold a charge. So be quite aware of this. If you're gonna be making any changes to it, let it sit for about 15 minutes. That way you don't have any risk of shock. With the 2022, the strobe inside is white. White goes through the color, producing a nice flash solely created by the dome coloration. So with the 2022, amber, white, red, blue, green, you can go ahead, put any color dome on and the unit will work just fine. As technology has progressed from the strobe system into the LED system, something that's come along with that is taking and arranging diodes so that the diode is the same color as the dome. So in the case of the L10 and L21, you're going to see these offered in amber or in white configurations. Something that you can do with them is switch domes. If you have a amber diode tower and you would like to have a clear outer dome, you can go ahead, have it arranged in that configuration. Diode's what's going to produce the amber color. Unlike the strobe, it's white, so this is what's going to make that flash appearance for the color effect. On the L10, Whelan has put together a center diode tower that is arranged with four diodes. The tower arrangement has been constructed in such a way so that when the dome is overlaying the tower, the diodes are actually firing through the main center optic point or the power band. Same thing with the 2022. When the dome is next to it, you'll notice that the primary center of the strobe is going to mount up with the power band. Moving into the L21, diode tower has been arranged in a little bit more of a stout manner. Polycarbonate base, same thing as you would find here and here. Difference is, is that this one has been completely epoxy filled. So if you're looking for something for a marine based application, because of the rough durability and full epoxy sealing, additional weather resistance for this, you're gonna notice a nice fit and finish for water applications with the L21. 
Something that's going to make this stand out also for its appearance on your application is a additional a quantity of diodes that's been added to the tower. In the L10, four diodes. The L21, on each side of the tower, three diodes, amber or white, for a total of 12. So between the two, I'll fire these up, you're going to notice an increased intensity with the L21. More diodes, more output. Something else that's a little different as technology has changed is on the 2022, you didn't have a trigger wire for just going ahead, making changes to flash patterns as you needed to. As you can see, go ahead, put the dome over it, color adjust as needed. And as I mentioned, you can switch high profile to low profile, such a nice bright white. The neat thing too with the strobes is it allowed technology to just go ahead, take the dome, produce it whatever color needed. So you can see the plastic and the hue of the green, it is a bit of a deeper color. So with that, you'll notice an intensity difference with the green dome versus the other colors. Switch over to red, quite easy to do. And something to keep in mind is that the domes aren't just simply popped on and off like I'm doing here. They do have a pair of set screws that affix them into the base. I just have them pre-removed here and they'll be going back into these after we're all done with the presentation. Switching over to the L10, we're going to find a nice useful scan lock trigger wire. So this will easily allow for flash pattern changes. Diodes are producing the amber color. Nice and bright. Go ahead, take the scan lock, go through a couple patterns. The nice thing with the L10 and the L21, it's a set it and forget it. Once you have the flash pattern configured to your preference, decontinue activating the scan lock, sorry, discontinue activating the scan lock, and every time the beacon is turned off, turned back on, it'll retain the flash pattern setting. So with this, I could switch over to a low profile amber gnome if needed, or go ahead and fit it with a clear. A bit of a difference between the two domes moving from the clear with the amber inside to the amber with amber matched. Something that's not gonna be available for doing a dome transfer with the LED system that diodes producing the colors, it's like a crayon effect from back in the school days. Take a blue, as you can see, dramatic intensity drop, very, very odd color output. Green affixed on top, a little bit of a yellow look. And lastly, if we do take the red, as you can see, it does have a good increase. With colors matching itself, the amber going through the red, it does have a decrease in intensity versus if this was a red tower or a white tower going through the red dome. But in this case, if you did need to make a quick switch on the fly, it could be done as you can see. As I mentioned, the L21, Heavy-duty epoxy in here, protecting the circuitry. So again, wonderful for water applications. Very, very well suited for it. Something else that you'll find with the L21 inside here is additional circuitry that allows for a synchronization. You have a gray trigger wire, so multiple L21s can be connected to each other for synchronization and uniform flash patterns. As you can see for wiring connections between the three, very straightforward, just a matter of connecting the ground, the lead, and 12 volts to them. As you can see between the L10 and the L21, with the diodes increasing from four to 12, quite a punch difference between the two. Can take the high profile dome, set it on there, and again, the diodes inside 
optimum mounted for the power band on the dome. So when this is mounted on the vehicle, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's level with the horizon and try to make it so that the power beam is gonna be mainly level with the eye or the viewers. So if it's a larger vehicle, nice and high up there, keep traffic out of the way, keep the vehicle safe. If it's something that's a bit smaller of a vehicle, you maybe wanna think about elevating the beacon so it has a little bit of a higher rise to it, doing it on a pipe mount fixture or a roof with a crossbar or some kind of a leveling system just to get it up higher, making it more visible to those around you. If it suits the application, clear dome, And then, back to the wonderfulness of crayons. So really you can see with the LED beacons, it's gonna be one or the other. You're not gonna be able to have multiple domes and rearrange these for multiple color configurations. Again, flash pattern adjustments can be made. Well, as you can see, a wonderful family of beacons from Wheel and Engineering. We have the L21, we have the L10, and one of the guys that started it all the 2022. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me here on SirenNet Television for a bit of an inside look and a little bit of fun with some domes. Thanks for joining me. Back to you, Stuart. Pretty interesting, Chris. Appreciate that. Interesting to see how those beacons all go together. Of course, they're available from Wheelan Engineering, available here on SirenNet. So go ahead and check out all the tech specs. As always, thanks for watching.